Greetings, humanity. This is weird making some kind of vlog on my laptop, and I'm not quite sure if I have any big flaws that are going to annoy anybody right now. We all have to deal with it. So today was my second time in full drag. When I mean full, I mean full for me. I didn't tuck, I didn't wear a wig, I didn't cover my eyebrows. But, um, I just felt like talking about it. Because I really like telling stories and venting. It's one of my best abilities. But some things happen that are just like, what? But it was really fun. I don't regret anything. And I don't, I think I look kind of better than my last time. In general, my makeup looks the same, pretty much. Um, less busted, I think. Even though I am... I, I posted videos, I assume by now, of the morning when I was doing this. And, uh, I was really indecisive with what I wanted to do with, like, the top part of my eyeshadow, because I don't know if I wanted, like, a smoky look to, like, blend the, the lines, but then I thought, do I? Because I kind of like the whole, like, Dur. So, uh, I, I tried blending it a bit, and then I didn't like it, but then I did. So, somehow, it came in my head just to leave out little blots, which is so bad. But I wish I had color contacts. All this black doesn't go good with my hazel eyes, I think. Um, but, uh, I like my look, honestly. I feel pretty. My boobs are solid. <laughs> I did what I wanted to do for my entire life today. I did, I put my lipstick in my bra, and I took it out, and I put on my lipstick. And also, when I got my money, I went to Krispy Kreme after school, and I got, bought a donut and iced coffee. I took the money, and I put it in my bra. Anyways, back to the day, because fucking nothing can be regular when you're in drag, I think. Um. Anyways, what the fuck is all this? I still have my... <laughs> Never mind, you don't say it, that's good. Um, so basically, you, you saw my video, and my mom doesn't know that I do drag or that I'm even gay. And she sleeps the couch probably a foot away from the door that I leave through. But she's a heavy sleeper, and, and I was hoping she wouldn't hear me. And I'm wearing boots, so you can hear me walking. But she was sleeping, and I walked past, and she didn't see anything. She didn't hear anything, I think. She didn't say bye. So I'm good, in that sense. I, I was worried about that. So it's early, it's kind of cold, I'm in a dress and fishnets in a small cardigan. Um, and then I'm walking and I'm listening to my music, I'm stomping around, I have time to go. It's it's cloudy, it's pretty, there's no one out. I'm, I'm, I'm fixing my fishnets in dear public, I'm literally scratching my crotch. I'm not scratching it, you know, like pulling it up. When in the fucking midst of day, it, morning, but it was fucking cool. And... Um, but then I'm walking, and then I realized that my boot was loose, and I was like, huh? And then I stopped, and I saw the boot zipper was like, how do I explain it? Like, if this was the whole zipper, and it ends right here, like, if I zipped it up, it was, like, it was right here, but all this was open. This happened before, I just zipped it up, and it works. But this time I tried, and it fucking, just, like, there's two chains, and the zip thing is on one side. And, like, two of the things are broken on there. And I'm panicking. Like, I'm like, really? I'm, I'm fucking embracing my oats in this fucking first ten minutes of me walking outside as fucking typhoid. And my fucking boot breaks. These are boots I wear as a boy, too. These are fucking cute boots. There are outfits I wanted to wear that I can't wear without these boots. But I managed. I literally had about 15 minutes or so before my bus got there. And I looked up in... Literally, the street, there's people walking by at that time, uh, on YouTube, how to fix a zipper, and I was skimming through tutorials and stuff, and I was like, I can't do any of this right now, obviously. And so I ended up just taking my lace and wrapping it around, because it was like hanging out, you know, like, Ur. so I just wrapped it around, and it was really ghetto, but I, I made it look so that way from, if you weren't looking at my boots directly, I don't think you'd realize, and nobody realized until I pointed it out, or at least that's what they said. Um, what else happened? Oh yeah, but then I got on my bus, and of course, 
I'm the last one on. And everyone just goes silent. And right when I walk on, and I'm walking, and I'm trying to give everyone eye contact and stuff, and... Well, not, I, I'm not looking over, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm just walking. This, mm, mm. And, you know, I find my seat, and then right as I'm moving up, down, I think these two little straight boys that didn't think I was going to sit right behind them, but then they're looking at each other, and they're looking at me like... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, really funny. But, um, and then I'm walking and stuff. Th the fucking, um, like runway down to my school from the bus stop, it's, I'm walking through it and I'm, I'm fucking feeling it. Even though my boots fucking broken and my boobs are solid, it takes a second to get used to. And, um, the dean last time that dress coded me and took my wig and my shorts, she was sitting there right at the entrance, so there was no way to avoid her. And I'm walking, I'm shredding still, I don't care. And, you know, I'm looking at her and I'm smiling and stuff. And I saw her, like, you know, scanning me and stuff. And I just, <laughs> hi. And she ain't got nothing on me, bitch. Mm -mm. And then um, I'm walking to my friends and they were cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they were sweet, and everyone talked about my dress, and I had to explain to my friend what typhoid was, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, there was a, every My friends thought I was transgender, and I was like, nah. And um, there was people, uh, like, it was dead silent whenever I, like, spoke. Like, if I... It, the whole class would be, in my first period, the, the whole class would be talking... And then when everyone asks a question, it's like, whatever. But when I rose my hand, everyone was quiet. Everyone just stared at me. and It, it was, I don't know. It was, it was creepy. Um, and then my second period came, pretty much the same thing. A couple of people came up to me like, hey, you're pretty. Hi, did I get that hot topic? Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty. And, um... And then third period came, and then my teacher, the one who I strongly believe is the person who called the deans and told me to get escorted to the dean's office to get dress coded and get my weave taken away from me, as well as my booty shorts that I cut and dyed myself. And, you know, I'm walking in, and he, he just, you know, nods and stuff, and, you know, I ask him a little question, and I was whatever. And I sit in the front and stuff, you know, and... I'm feeling it, and people are, people are, my friend, she's asking me, like, Hey, Tyler, if you were a girl, you'd be pretty. And I'm like, okay. And, um, yeah, it was, it was just awkward. But then, uh, there's this, I'm in, I'm president of my school's GSA, and we're doing this Valentine's raffle, and I had to go to my advisor slash old history teacher, to pick up the stuff, and me and her are really chill. And then I walk in, I get the stuff, just, I did, this is the day before, I'm interrupting her class, and then, um, she's about to give me, like, the little packet that you put the money in, and then she, like, snatches away. And by that time, nothing bad has happened with other people so far, other than, you know, a little shady shit, but I don't, that, I like it, kind of. I don't do it for the shady shit, but I, you know, it's cool. But then she, she, like, mm, and she goes... Tyler, he starts sitting like a girl. And I said, because I just came in that class. I didn't sit at all. So I'm like, huh? And then she goes, I had five people so far come up to me and tell me you need to fix your sitting etiquette. And I'm like, huh? And then um, she goes, you can't, I mean, you, it doesn't mean you have to cross your legs or anything. You just can't sit there with like, uh, like, your manliness out or something. And I'm still like, huh? And then she she kind of just starts with her class again, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and then I, I'm i really confused by then, because the night before, I, more than the night before, I put on this dress, and I, uh, I tested out, like, what seating, like, if I can cross my legs, like, this and stuff with that, because I, I didn't want to shave all my legs, if there's no point in shaving, you know, like, the ass. Uh, and I wanted to see what parts I wouldn't, would, or want, wouldn't be sh seen and stuff, you know what I mean? And I, I wouldn't sit like this. So I sat, like, with my legs kind of crooked, you know what I'm saying? Like, where they're kind of like, Err! 
And, you know, I just, I had my dress like this all, all day where unless you're under here, you can't see anything, bitch. And, you know, I'm, I'm sitting like this throughout the whole day. I, I, I probably got up ten times throughout my whole class just to fix my dress, pull it in, and sat, sit like this. Exactly like this. Sit on slouched over. Uh, one, two classes I'm in the back, two classes I'm in the front. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, huh? And then five people, I just got to my fifth class. <laughs> and then um, I asked her after afterwards during anime club and she goes uh they're like the whole club was just listening to her yell at me she goes yeah you need to start fixing your teaching or you're sitting at a girl's i'll teach you and i'm like miss and i demonstrate like oh i've been sitting like this all day can you see anything from there and she goes right now no but it might change when you get comfortable and i'm like this isn't forced. This is how I've literally been sitting. I don't sit there like, hey guys, hey, got a dress, like my underwear, or briefs. No, I I didn't do any of that. And I was just like, huh? And then um, she was talking to me like, I don't know. And then she said that uh, the first person to come by says, did you see your boy today? And she goes, huh? And then you know he's like. Oh yeah, the the one the president and Giga say he has pale skin today, and then she said that he said it in a really negative way, but she doesn't know if he was being hateful or if he was being shady, if he just wants a tail. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm wondering who these people were. But she said because she was doing the event too in her lunch, and then she said the three administrators came up to her in lunch, and. And talk to her about it. And one of them was obviously the dean. Because they said, oh no, he didn't get dressed cut this time. He's fine. But they all said different things about like bathrooms. And then, and all those different stuff. And uh, it was sweet. Because then she started talking about how like, I was pretty much the headline of the day. Like there was people talking about me. Like more than just the administrators and stuff. And I'm like, how oh, sweet. But you know, it's like they got shit on me. They were just talking shit about my underwear that they didn't see. They probably don't even know the color of my underwear. I, that's what I'm gonna ask them. If, I didn't think of that. Right? If they ever try to get on my on my ass for fucking sitting properly, they can suck my red underwear ass. They don't know the color. Mhm. Mm and they probably don't even know. Where the fish nets end? That would be a good trick question. Oh, girl. Because <laughs> if I saw somebody's underwear and they were sitting with their legs wide open, I'd remember what color. They don't know what color. Anyways. But yeah, and then I took a walk to Petco and a couple people told me I was beautiful and it was sweet. And a lot of kids gave me a really weird look. Some of them looked like, what the fuck is this Halloween? And some of them looked like, hey, pretty. And it was cute. Most people were really chill. I got a smile from a cute guy today, and I think I looked fucking hot. Um, I wish I could fix several, many things. I went to Sally's today. I looked fucking great. Um, sometimes I forgot how dark I looked, like, you know. And then my my GSA advisor, as I'm walking out, she, she keep in mind, she does casual makeup every day. Like, probably a little bit of foundation, if anything. An eyeliner? When I mean eyeliner, I mean literally just the line of the eye. No wing, no one, nothing. And she goes, so since you want to be a drag queen, do you want me to teach you how to do makeup? So you don't do all that pale shit? And I'm like, I wanted to be pale. I didn't look at this and say, it's my skin! And I don't even think I'm that pale. I could be lighter. I could be like clown TV paint stick. But, um, I think I got everything. Um... There was some other shit I wanted to talk about, but it's it's kind of minor. I didn't shake my armpits too much, so I don't want to lift them up. I mean, I shaved them to the point where they want to be like, Grrr! but you know what I mean. And I had to apply my lipstick like probably ten times today, but it's fun. I like applying lipstick, unless I smudge it. You wanna know what I put in my bras? Used underwear? Not used. I mean. Underwear I don't use. Wah, wah. Okay, well, I think I'm done, humans. Um, bye.